Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27823. In this build, we have a few new improvements and also fixes that we're going to cover in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin by the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is adding the new top cards in the about section in the settings app. So if you go into the system section and scroll up the bottom and then click on about we're gonna see these top cards that Microsoft has added basically to every insider and also in the main release of Windows 11 these are some cards that will show you the main components or specifications of your computer the storage graphics card install RAM and also the processor and uh, these top cards won't yet appear on managed commercial PCs and this change appears only on specific PC form factors such as desktops so if you have a laptop or if you have a computer you should see these rolling out in the latest is built for the Canary channel and all the other builds from Windows 11 as I've said. As spotted by Phantom of Earth on Twitter, this build also adds a menu for formatting and partitioning unallocated disks with flexible storage to Windows setup. So I think this is quite a useful thing for people who are manually installing Windows 11 on certain computers. Talking about fixes in this build, first of all we have some fixes for the file explorer. Microsoft fix an issue where file explorer might be blank and not render if you alt plus tab to it from a minimized state in the latest Canary builds, fix an issue where the see more menu in the command bar was drawing in the wrong direction at some resolutions. And also, starting with this build, all the dialogues, open and save dialogues, will respect the text scaling or the text size that you input inside settings, accessibility, and then text size. Related to input, Microsoft fix an issue which could cause a ctfmod.exe crash when copying content from certain apps, and also fix an issue where get raw input data was unexpectedly failing to read data in some cases with last Win32 error error and valid handle error. Also related to login and lock, fix an issue where clicking sign in options was crashing for some insiders. Related to the settings app, Microsoft fix an issue which could cause settings to crash when interacting with Bluetooth and devices and then cameras. And also fix an issue causing some unexpected space at the top of system and then sound and some other settings pages. Related to printing, Microsoft fix an issue where non-admin users couldn't uninstall printers that they added. And they also fix an issue which was causing some insiders to unexpectedly see a message saying a send to one node driver was printing wasn't working. We also have some other fixes, fix an issue which was causing certain apps to fail to install in builds 27813 plus, fix an underlying issue which was causing some Windows insiders to unexpectedly get bug checks with unsupported processor when upgrading or clean installing the latest builds, fix an issue where when using the copy pixels, the pixels may be unexpectedly inverted in certain cases, and they also fix an issue in the latest Canary builds where traffic routing might not work correctly when network adapters were connected. And we also have one new known issue, the toggle to get the latest updates as they are available via the settings and Windows Update is not rendering correctly and gets turned off by itself. This is just a visual issue and it will be fixed in a future flight soon. So this is the latest build for the Canary channel 27823. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, for more information, you can check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post or Phantom of Earth on Twitter. Also, make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.